Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 27. Today is our lesson number 27, I believe, not 26. No, it is 26. Today is our lesson number 26, and we are on page number 232. Please turn to it. Page number 232. Today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson, day number 26 and 27. 3 signifies the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 26 and day 27, deals with the concept of prime factors prime factors and if you're interested in uh, uh, if you're interested in getting some more exercises in your, if you're interested in working on some more problem you will find on my channel a series of videos simply titled basic maths just type in basic math there are five videos day 41 through 45 watch those five videos do those problems with me and you will get some more exercises on this concept of prime factors problem number four is what we're going to do here the first question, part 4a says, part 4a says, what are the prime factors, prime factors of 372? What are the prime factors of 372? And this is how we go about it. 372. Our job is to find the smallest prime number that we can find that is a factor of 372. Smallest prime number that is a factor of 372. Get it? Prime factor. The smallest prime factor would be 2. 2 is the smallest prime number that is even the by 372. Let's begin then. 3 has 1, 2. After we take away 3 from the after we take away 2 from the 3, we have a remainder of 1. 1 goes and joins the 7, becomes 17, and 17 has 8 twos. 8 twos are 16. After we take away 16 from the 17, we have a remainder of 1. 1 goes and joins the 2 and becomes 12, and 12 has 6 twos. Let's go one more round. It's, a, it's an even number. Let's go one more round. 18, 18 has 9 twos and 6 has 3 twos. And we can no longer divide by 2. Let's divide by 3. 9, nine has 3 two, th th three threes and, and 3 has 1 3. There you go. So the prime factors of 372 are, are 2, C2, 3 and 31. In other words, 372 is equal to 2 squared. There are two of them here, 2 squared. But when we're, when we're, listing, when we're listing prime factors, we don't, we don't say 2, 2, 3, 31. The prime factors, how many prime factors does 372 have? 372 has three prime factors, 2, 3, and 31. So 372 is 2 squared times 3 times 31. The next question is asking us to list the next question is asking us to list, this is, this is it, we are done with this thing. Part B is asking us to list not just the prime factor, but all factors. It says list, list all positive divisors. Positive divisors is just a very fancy way of saying factors. Positive divisors is just a very fancy way of saying factors. So here we are being asked to list not just the prime factor, which we did already, it was just 2, 3, and 31, but here we are being asked to list all the factors of 372. List all factors of, of 372. What well, we just found out, we just found out that 372, 372, we just found out was equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 31. Right? So that will be our starting point. This 31, the odd guy that we see there, let's not worry about that right now. Let's not worry about that. Let's keep, let's keep, let's keep 31 in. Let's keep 31 in abeyance. We won't worry about it right now. Just put it aside. We'll deal with it later. The word is abeyance. Something that we already learned in our vocabulary lessons on day number 9. 
vocabulary B9. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, if you're interested in getting a better grade in the reading portion, decent vocabulary, a good vocabulary is a must. Watch those videos and work on your vocabulary. Just type in GRE words, GRE words, day nine. Watch the video where we learn the word abeyance, which simply means to keep something aside for the time being, to put something in the state of inactivity. We're not going to deal with it. Let's simply look at, let's simply look at, let's first deal with, let's first deal with, let's first deal with these, these three parts. Two times two times three. Are you with me? And we're going to list all the factors. So the first factor of 372 would be two. And then a three, of course. We see a two, we see a three, and now the process begins. Okay, watch here. Now it's important that you go systematically because it's very easy to miss one. And if they ask you to list all the factors, and if you miss one, then it's wrong. The list is not complete. Or you end up might putting or you might end up putting some putting something in there, in the list that doesn't belong there. Go systematically, that's very important here. So 2 and 3 is very obvious, then here we go. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. So the, we have done them individually, now we are going to pair them together. 4 times 3 is 12, and now put these together. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is also 12, so we don't have to worry about that. That's it, we are done. We are done with that part. Now let's deal with 31, let's do it on the top. Just go systematically, that's it. Now, now, let's deal with 31. We're, we're ready to deal with 31. So 31, 31 is going to be a factor of 372 because we, we did the work. 31 was a factor of 332. But if 31 is a factor of 332 and 2 is a factor of 332, then it stands to reason that 2 times 31 is going to be a factor of 372. If 31 is a factor of 372 and 3 is a factor of 372, so it's going to be 3 times 31 and 4 times 31 and 6 times 31 and 12 times 31. What those values are, we're not going to worry about it right now. So here it is. Our list is done. That's it. We're done. I'm going to erase everything except the factors. There you go. B is here. 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 31, 2 times 31, 3 times 31, 4 times 31, 6 times 31, 12 times 31 are all the factors of 30 or of 372. Or are there? Did we miss something? Yes, we did miss something, didn't we? And finally, and finally, and finally, 372 itself. Of course, 372 is a factor of 372, isn't it? Any number, of course, is a factor of itself. So, is the list complete now? Is this the complete list now? The answer is still not. Answer is still no. This list, this list is, this list is not complete. This list is not complete yet. What are we missing? What did we miss? What did we forget? What did we miss? Do you know? Aha! You missed one. When you have to make a list, listen very carefully. When somebody asks us to make a list of all the factors of any number, any quantity, I'm just going to throw something at random, let's say 357, and they ask you to make a list of all the factors of 3. I don't know what they are, do you understand? I'm just making something at random. Or 18, for example. Always make sure that you begin your list with 1, because 1 is a factor of any number. And always make sure that you end with the number itself, because any quantity is a factor of itself. 72 is a factor of 72, and 37 is a factor of 37. Do you understand? Of, although, if you try to make a list of factors of 30, 37, it's going to be very silly, because it's a prime number. It's just going to be 1 and 37. So, we missed 1. Now, we can make our complete list. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to raise this line right here, put all of this on the top, and our list will be complete. So here we go, 2. Let's line them up, shall we? This 2 will line up with this 2. 2, 3, 4, and then 6, right here, 6, 
is, 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 is being silly. It's not working out. Two, three, four, six, twelve. I'm gonna raise everything else. We're done with all of it itself. And finally, 372 itself, which I'm gonna put in a different color. 372. And you mustn't forget, and you mustn't forget one at the beginning. The one and the number itself. That is a complete list. That is a complete list, complete list of all the factors of 372. You just sort of figure out what four times. Oh, I missed the six times 31, didn't I? What happened to six times 31 and 12 times 31? I must have raised it. Four times 31, six times 31. 6 times 31, 12 times 31, and finally 372 itself. That's it. That's all it was. We are done. I'm not going to take the time. I'm not going to take the time to actually figure out. You can, you can do the math yourself. 3 times 31, of course, is going to be 93. 4 times 31, 4 times 30 is 120. So it's going to be, we don't need, uh, we don't need 34. We need 31 4, so it's going to be 124. 3, 6 times 30 is going to be 180. We don't need 36, we need 31 sixes, so it's going to be 186. This is going to be 2 times 186, and that's it. That was, that was it. That's what we're going to do in this video. In the next video, we'll do problem 5. Problem 5, 6 and 7 in the next video. Okay? Bye now.